Minimalism is all over the news, from the most famous creators we enjoy watching to Netflix documentaries and blogs, from housing and fashion to music and art. Everyone does it or intends to do it. Minimalism has been linked to art movement, the black and white abstract figures we see everywhere. But what is actually minimalism? Is the process of identifying what is essential in life and actually having the courage to eliminate the rest, removing the unnecessary. This way you free up time, capacity and space to do the things that truly really matter in life to you. Look at art, a white canvas with small details that portray a certain message. I am not an art critic, but this painting has intention. Better. Or so they say. Look at music, listening to minimal techno. You hear certain elements characteristic of the minimalistic movement. A bass, a drum, a synth and some effects. Alone, they seem dull, boring, but together they sound like they play around in synth to hypnotize you for the duration of the song. Look at buildings, square, with the details that have meaning and intention. Minimalism entails that having less is actually more and portrays the feeling of living a life with intention. But why do I want to live and become a minimalist? And what does this entail? When I first moved all across the world for my studies, I had accumulated over two decades of items that, as a son of divorced parents, I had divided in two houses and two rooms. After six years of living abroad, I have accumulated a bunch of items that in the impulse of the moment felt like a good buying. And looking at it now, it wasn't. For me, becoming a minimalist entails going back to the basics. The things I need in order to live entails living with purpose, from the people I hang out to the things I do in my free time to how I go over life. It doesn't mean only having a few items and wearing the same every day, even though I pretty much do. To me, it's about having the necessary, the things I need and have a purpose in my life. It's about intention. Becoming a minimalist is living a life with intention. In a world bombarded with social media, ads and traps that we have all felt for once, we often find it challenging and difficult to create time and space to enjoy the simple things in life. We're just too busy being overwhelmed by physical, digital and mental clutter. And there is actually scientific evidence that proves that having a mess of a desk or house doesn't help with concentrating. Minimalism is an antidote to that state of overload. That's the general overview of a minimalist lifestyle that I currently have. But there's so much more to this concept that I hope to soon learn while applying these changes to my life. Before I get started, of course I had to do some research. While reading, watching videos and informing myself, a lot of questions about minimalism came up. Does everyone have a different meaning for it? What is the best way to get started? How do I apply it on my day to day? Were some of the questions that popped up. To help me get a clear understanding, I asked my friend Sasha for help. Sasha is a fellow YouTuber, future veterinarian, thick of coffee lover and of course, a minimalist. Tell me, does everyone have a different meaning for what yeah, minimalism is? And can you maybe tell me what it is for you? So yeah, I do think that people have different meaning of minimalism and I have my own version of minimalism that I gained through my experiences from the couple of months where I started minimalism. And it is, for me, the fact to be in control when it comes to finance, when it comes to what you own, what you think, how you work, it is indeed about having less in your vision and in on your side and everything but it really means being in control of what you're doing what you think and what you're spending yeah that, that that would be my basic definition of minimalism more something that you control and why did you start with it then and when so yeah i started my minimalism journey back in january february 2022 something like that and I didn't start because I wanted to become a minimalist and not own anything anymore. But I started because I'm on a self-improvement journey and it's been like this for the last couple of months where every single day I'm seeking to be a better person than yesterday. And of course, minimalism was part of this because at one point I was just thinking that I had to be smarter with the way I was dealing with money. And I, it was also my exam period. So I needed to focus on really the essential of my life. Um, and I started looking at things on the internet and I slowly but surely discovered minimalism and 
I'm pretty happy about it. What um, do you say would be the best way to get started? I honestly think that um, the best way to get started into minimalism is to really wonder if you want to do something in this field. If you have a benefit that you could take from minimalism, you shouldn't take part of minimalism just because it's trendy right now. You should take part of minimalism because you really have um, and a goal in your mind. For me, for example, my goal was to be more in control of my money cravings. For example, I would go on Amazon every single day and think that I would need a new camera lens or a new backpack or whatever it could be. And of course I couldn't afford it because I still, I'm a student. So it would just end up in disappointment and frustration from something that shouldn't even exist. So when you think uh, as a minimalist, or pseudo-minimalist, as I like to call myself, then you realize that all of those frustrating thoughts that you could have on um, spending money or friction that you could have in the morning because you have too many clothes to choose from, then they start to disappear slowly but surely. And then it will surely make you feel better. At least it did for me, and it still is a struggle sometimes on some point, but I still am trying to, to get better at this. But for you, if you want to start minimalism, just really wonder what is your point here? Do you want to get in because everyone is jumping in a train because it's trendy right now? Or do you really want to get in because you really want to be thoughtful about what you spend? You really want to be have less friction in your days because of plenty of decisions that you could make? So that's really how I would be thinking if I were to start over all again tomorrow. So basically it's more about the why you want to do it. And that is the best way indeed. Same like with a business. I likely have a why. Um, one last question. How do you actually apply minimalism to your day to day? Do you just go and tell everyone you're a minimalist? Well, I would say that first of all, in my mornings, I try to keep my thoughts in a minimal state. So I do not use my phone. I do not use my phone because I don't want a lot of um, information to stick into my brain and to just um, make my vision of my day blurry as I like to um, spend my morning visualizing my day, thinking about what I would achieve or not and how I could do it. And I also try to apply minimalism to the way I am dressing up. So I would lately I've been more conscious about just grabbing a t-shirt, a random pair of jeans and just not thinking too much about how I would dress in order to look good. Um, something else that is very important for me is to have a minimal workspace. So because I have to spend a lot of time at my desk uh, whether it is for university or for YouTube videos. And the less there is on my desk, the more minimal it is and the more productive I will be because I'll be able to focus on the essential. Again, as I said earlier, it's really about focusing on what really matters without getting any external friction in your field of vision or in your thoughts. Yeah, another thing is that I do not like to call myself a minimalist. I do not like to put myself into this niche of I'm on a self-improvement journey. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get better. And of course, there is this step of being more conscious about where I spend my money on. How do I spend my money on? What do I think will make my day more productive? What do I think will be absolutely useless in order to have a great day? Um, that that's really what I do. So I would. I don't go around and tell people that I'm a minimalist. I just don't like that. I would usually say that I'm on a self-improvement journey and that it's part of it. I couldn't have found better words to put in my paper what my thoughts are. And indeed I have my why and I couldn't agree more with what you say. So trying this new, milis, new lifestyle, it's all about self-improvement, being more productive and making my life simpler with just, yeah, less. So. For at least the next year, I will be giving minimalism a shot, whether it's in my finances, in my way of living, or my decisions. I think I have what I need to start on this journey and eventually live a happier, healthier, and more intentional life. Will you join this journey?